In this lesson, I'm going to help you grow your vocabulary with one super easy trick. Today's lesson is a request from Reza. If you have a topic that you would like me to teach you, please let me know in the comments below. My name is Kara and I teach English online with Number One Institute. If you would like more lessons like this one, as well as grammar, listening, speaking, reading, writing, then make sure you subscribe because I have a new lesson every Sunday. So what's this super easy trick to grow your vocabulary? It's the suffix. M. A suffix is something you can add to the end of a word. You can add this suffix to lots of nouns and adjectives, ones you already know, and then bang, you have a new verb. Let's have a look. Here's an adjective, sharp, and here's a pencil, it's not very sharp. Let's sharpen it. I hope you like my ladybird sharpener. Let's sharpen it. Make it sharp. All I did was add en and I've made the verb sharpen to make sharp. Let's try it with a noun. Strength strength. Let's add en, strengthen, strengthen. For example, I don't have the strength to lift this table and as the verb I need to strengthen my muscles. I need to strengthen my muscles. So the magic formula is the noun or the adjective, usually the adjective. Add en and bang, we have a verb. So, a number of these cases with en are about size. Short, shorten. Would you like me to shorten this lesson? Wide, widen. The council are widening the street. Deep, deepen. This has helped to deepen my understanding of the crisis. Broad, broaden. Traveling has broadened my horizons. Broaden my horizons or broaden your horizons. This is a phrase and it means to expand your activities or interest or knowledge. Length, lengthen. I'd like to lengthen my lashes. Height, heighten. We need to heighten this chair. We also have a few colors or shades. Bright, brighten. Her face brightened when she heard the news. In this case, brighten means look suddenly happier. But we can also use bright literally. The sky brightened with the lightning. Dark, darken. The sky started to darken with the storm. Light, lighten. I would like to lighten my hair. Red, redden. Her face reddened with embarrassment. White, whiten. This product really helps to whiten your clothes. Black, blacken. Her dress was blackened by the dirt. There's lots more. Let's have a look at some more examples. Hard, harden. Playing guitar has hardened my skin. Soft, soften. My moisturizer has really softened my skin. 
Pay attention to the pronunciation here. Soft, we say the t at the end, but soften, we don't. Soften, thick, thicken. What did you use to thicken the soup? Damp, dampen. The rain dampened the soil. Moist, moisten. Have some water to moisten your dry throat. This one's like soft. Moist with a t. Moisten. No t. Moisten. Weak, weaken. The disease weakens the immune system. Quiet, quieten. The students quietened down when the teacher entered the room. Straight, straighten. Do you straighten your hair? Tough, toughen. The government are toughening the laws. There's also a phrasal verb. Toughen up, toughen up, which means the same thing. Threat, threaten. They threatened him with a gun. Sweet, sweeten. If it's not sweet enough, you can sweeten it with some sugar. Loose, loosen. I must have put on weight. I need to loosen my belt. Tight, tighten. We need to tighten this screw. Worse, worsen. The health situation is worsening. Ripe, ripen. The avocados are ripening really quickly. Sad, sadden. The news saddened me. Flat, flatten. They are flattening the ground to install a swimming pool. Awake, awaken. He awakened at the sound of the phone. Fright, frighten. She frightened the birds away. Alright, here's a test for you. Can you fill in the missing word? Number one. And number two. Write your answers down in the comments below. If you would like more practice like this and to see a full list of all of these words with the suffix N, then go over to this website and you'll be able to find everything there as well as some more exercises to test your understanding. Thanks for watching. I have a new video every Sunday, except for next Sunday because I'm having a little holiday. I hope you're all doing really well and I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Bye.